Well, good afternoon and welcome back. We are taking a live look at the Bayfront Inn in Naples, in, uh, Naples, Florida. This live look, if you look closely, you can see the camera shaking ever so slightly. As of about 1115, we did have winds clocking in at 61 miles an hour. I just checked again during the commercial break and we've actually lost almost all data from the Naples um, uh, their station um, with the that collects all the weather data. We lost all the weather data, but as of now, I am able to see from the Tampa um, National Weather Service that visibility is down to zero. They've clocked in and observed heavy rain and heavy lightning as this hurricane does start to make landfall. When it comes to our radar and satellite, we are seeing a very defined eye um, of this hurricane. The more circular it gets, the intenser it is. So we are starting to see that very close to portions of Florida. We're going to continue to see this hit landfall later today and then after that drop down to a category three hurricane by the time it reaches the mid um, the middle of the state, then it will start to make its way back into the Atlantic, intensifying just a little bit before then hit making landfall again, bringing us a nice low uh, tropical system headed into the remainder of the weekend. This will bring still some torrential downpours to our southerly states. A little closer to home, we're a little bit on the calmer side. Overall, decreasing clouds today, 51 degrees out there currently. Our dew points are low, our winds are pretty mild, and our visibility is still pretty great. We are seeing that a lot of our temperatures are mainly in those upper 40s to lower 50s. So we're starting out on a very chilly note in many of our communities. We're going to continue to see that overnight headed into tomorrow with the addition of some um, frost advisories throughout our region too. Right now, winds are pushing in from the north at about five to 15 miles an hour, a couple isolated gusts up to 18 and 17 along the lake shore. A lot of these stronger winds will start to die out headed into the remainder of today. Overnight, we could see winds just barely breaking five miles an hour. We've got a couple stray showers off to our south and off to our north, but these should start to peter out within the coming hours, bringing us partly to mostly sunny skies for the remainder of your Wednesday. And then those sunnier skies will continue throughout the remainder of the week. If we zoom out, we can see overall lots of clearing off to our west. That's going to continue to move into our region, bringing us some sunnier skies and some more fair weather. Let's go ahead and track it all out for you. We'll start to see all of those showers really petering out by today into this evening. It does look like overnight we'll have a lot of clearing. This clearing is going to be the perfect breeding ground for some of that patchier frost to form among many of our central communities. Those temperatures tonight dipping down and could feel like um, a little bit below freezing. So a little bit chilly tonight as we can tell, but we will start to see those clouds building back in Thursday, just passing through on Friday. Lots of clearing ahead of the weekend. We'll start to see more so clear skies headed into the remainder of this week and finally a weekend without rain potential. But for today, we do have a stray shower or two possible throughout the region. Those should start to peter out by later this afternoon into this evening. Overall, a little bit on the chillier side. 58 degrees will be our high. Our temperatures will really struggle to make those upper 50s. But we will get some peaks of sunshine later this afternoon into this evening. For tonight, partly to mostly clear skies, overall chilly, and then the potential for some of that patchier frost. When it comes for um, to the remainder of our week, we will see that morning frost on Thursday. Temperatures slowly warming up ahead of the weekend. We will start October with temperatures warmer than average, which will be these uh, lower 70s to upper 60s. This upcoming seven day forecast is looking phenomenal. Many of us in those upper 60s, lower 70s, and plenty of sunshine to look forward to.